Capricorn, hello beautiful soul, how are you? My name is Alicia, welcome. This is Empath Tarot, where spirit's messages directly correlate with being highly sensitive here on planet Earth. Now this is going to be general, so if it does resonate, like, share, and subscribe so we can get spirit's message out there to fellow empaths. If you are interested in scheduling a personal reading with Spirit and I, all of the details will be down in the description box below. And for even more empath energy, check out my husband. He's incredible. He's over at 7D Tarot and his information will also be in the description box for you. Now Capricorn, let us dive right in. We have the Strength card coming out as your overall energy to begin this. And I'm, there it is. I was waiting for the next one. And we have the Seven of Swords coming out in reverse. This is exciting. So your energy right now is universe validating that you have the capacity and the ability to truly break free of this resistant blocking energy, this egotistic energy that's being in your reality right now. You have all of the opportunity to break free of this, but it has to come from an understanding that you must honor what you want and not trying to do something from a place of validating who you are. This will come when we are not happy with our lives from past experiences and past situations that have happened to us, right? Maybe this is somebody cheated on you. Maybe this is abuse. Maybe this is uh, losing a job. Maybe this is somebody saying something rude. Maybe this is a family member disowning you, whatever it may be. Past experiences, when we are too attached to them or when something has significantly happened in our lives and it, and it greatly caused a lot of trauma, we connect to it energetically and it stays within us. And then we, on a, uh, a, on a certain level, feel like we need to do things to validate that feeling. Well, this happened, so now I'm gonna go do this. And it's, it can be done, but it's like at what cost, right? It really, it's like, it's like selling our soul, really. And so if we understand that, all we need to understand is that when we are on our paths here and we are tuned in to what the inspiration of our souls is asking of us, then we are hand in hand connected to the universe. That means we are here with our guides and our team and the only truth that is available to us, then we are able to move mountains. We are able to create from a place of inspiration and we break free and we chip away that plaque that has been encrusting our soul for so many years because of the past experiences we've held on to, identifying with them as if it is who we are, let it go. It's not who you are at all. It's just what you had to experience to overcome it, to become a better, more evolved wisdom is soul that you came here and asked to actually learn. Because that's the whole point of being here on planet Earth is to learn stuff. And we forget that. We think that, um, you know, this is who we are and the name you were given, the body you're inhabiting, right? The things that you own, that's who you are. That's what, how you validate yourself by, ha, 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 ha. No, think again, Capricorn, it's not who you are. And when we identify with them too strongly, unfortunately, we surrender our ability to be able to create from a place of inspiration and attract in the abundance that's rightfully ours. So what's gonna happen is this. When you realign yourself with your soul's path, which is just by honoring your spirit's needs, and if you're not used to doing this, this in itself is a process and a journey, but one that's very fulfilling and one that in, it gives instant gratification, instant, because the minute that you say yes to your needs, you get this ping of vibration. It's almost like tingles. It's almost like fairies are just throwing fairy dust at you. It just feels incredible. And when you feel this feeling, it becomes very addicting. I did it for me. I feel good. I feel genuinely good. I feel happy. Oh my gosh, I can feel like this. And you can feel like this all day, every day, baby. And all it takes is for you to just make sure that you're honoring your needs before anybody else's. This may sound selfish, but it has to be because you will not be able to be your best self in any endeavor you take on. Work, relationship, it doesn't matter. If you are not your best self, live Living your life by your needs, then what's going to happen is you're going to you're going to tap into that other beings or other uh, situations energy, and then what's going to happen is you're going to absorb their energy, and then you're going to try to strive from a place of. Of, of trying to make them happy, trying to make this situation at work work better, trying to make more money, trying to please others, right? Because you're, absor you're picking up their energy. But when you are in tune with your needs, holding hands with your team of guides and angels, you are not coming from a place of trying, you are coming from a place of service. That is a much different feeling. That is a much different feeling because when you're coming from a place of service, you have all the right things to say, you have all the right energy to give, and your 
voice will be heard and the respect will be felt. And that feeling is priceless. And that feeling you will know a complete difference of than trying to make someone feel better because you're absorbing their energy and you're like, I can feel your energy. Let me listen, let me help won't help. You're going to tell them all the things that you think they want to hear or they th you think they need to hear. It won't be the right things because it will always be coming from an inauthentic place. But when you realign yourself with what your needs are, then you'll always come from a place of telling somebody or helping someone hear what they actually need to hear or um, giving advice or putting your best foot forward in a work endeavor that actually needs to be done. It won't be a place of trying because of trying to make something happen, right? It'll be coming from an authentic place of, okay, I actually feel like this is the right action step. And even though it might not be the easiest one, it's the right one that's gonna get the job done. You'll have that sense of knowing, and it will be because you're trusting your own instincts and, and practicing that. Too often we're practicing making everyone else happy. We don't even know what our own needs are. And it's about turning inwards and, and practicing our own needs um, because what that will do is again, put you back on track, which will end this chapter of you feeling like you're not able to succeed or you unable to get what you want. And you absolutely are because you're the king of wands, Capricorn. And that is the truest statement that's ever been told. I mean, let's be honest, you're a Capricorn, whatever you put your mind to, you're going to get it done. You're going to get it done. So set your mind to what is the truth. And that's the truth from in you, right? What does your authentic soul need? Not what you think it people want to hear from you or what you think people expect of you. Forget all that. What you should be doing, forget all that. It's not the truth. It's false. And you'll be living your life from a false, false place. And it won't be, it won't create a life of happiness. It won't matter how much money you have. It won't matter how many nice clothes you, you own or how many friends you got. It, it won't matter. You will never be happy. You'll never be truly happy. You'll always be searching for happiness. And that's why a lot of humans, no matter what they own, no matter how much fame they have, they're never truly happy. And it's only because they're not coming from a place of authenticity, creating from a place of realness. And, um, What's good news is, um, is that big changes are coming for you once you uh, realign yourself with your soul's path. Because you're on a journey right now where you're being introduced to a whole lot of new beginnings and a whole lot of new opportunities. And this is gonna be good. So the energy is gonna be cleared up. You're gonna realign yourself. Changes are gonna happen. And this is gonna lead you to a lot more inspiration, okay? This inspiration is what you've been waiting for. But again, when we are not in a place where we are able to receive it, it's generally because we're in an egotistic place because what happens is this, right? If we're not honoring our needs and, and living our lives from an authentic place, then our egos are running the show. And as we know, when our egos are running the show, oh, it's dark times, it's dark times, right? We feel lost, we feel confused. Uh, we feel like we have no place. We don't know what our path is. We don't know what our purpose is. We don't know what we're supposed to be doing. We're, we're trying this, we're, we're forcing this. And, and it's because we don't know. We feel this pain of uncertainty. We feel this disconnection right? We feel disconnected. This disconnection is only because you're not aligned with your own needs. That's the only thing. But we, when we feel this disconnection, we feel like oh, something's wrong, right? We feel it. And then we try to fix that feeling by efforting or forcing and making something happen off of what we think we should be doing. But all we have to do is realign with what our needs are in that precise moment. Sometimes it's meditation. Sometimes it's exercise. Sometimes it's working on a different endeavor. Sometimes it's making a meal. Sometimes it's hanging out with loved ones it's going to be different. It's going to be different for your needs. Sometimes it's painting, whatever your needs are, but you honor what your spirit is asking. It will come in a one or two word sentence. That is it. Okay. It won't be this whole big conversation from the universe. It will be a quick little, here's what you got to do. That's it. Spirit or, or, or yes, yeah, spirit. What are my needs right now? Myself. What are my needs right now? Soul. What are my needs right now? How can I honor you? How can I honor myself? Right? You just get, you just tune inwards, right? And that's what tuning inwards is really is, is asking yourself, what are my needs? You meet your needs and that's when the portals of opportunity unfold because that is truly where love is stemmed from. You attract love into your life. You attract abundance into your life from the vibration that you emit. This vibration comes from honoring yourself and from truly coming from a place of self-love and self-care. And so now the universe is saying it's time for uh, things to be done a little bit differently from how you're used to doing them, how you've been used to doing them, because there are great adventures waiting for you, Capricorn. And these adventures are going to must be met from someone who is confident within themselves. But that confidence is only going to come when you practice giving to yourself, right? Because when you give to yourself, then you are your best self 
to bring to the table. And it does look like there are, again, some travel adventures here. It does look like there are some um, new beginnings when it comes to a new career, new uh, house maybe, right? Moving, um, traveling in general, or just the underlying message of, again, looking for different things. But at the end of the day, no matter what, when we are creating, if we expect different results from the same actions we've been doing, then we've got to look at that, right? There's a disconnection there. We've got to try it and we've got to do things differently from how we're used to doing it. And the only thing that needs to change is tuning into your own wisdom instead of searching and seeking for the answers in the physical earth world, which will never result in any type of succession. <laughs> All right, Capricorn, I hope you enjoyed your reading. I hope there was a message in here for you. And if there was, like, share, and subscribe. I truly appreciate you. Spirit loves you. I love you. And until our next reading, keep shining, baby.